Hello and welcome back to Memory at Lightning Speed with the Permanent Memory Spare and Power Recall. Memory Course 3, Episode 9, 31.e. Let me give you an example of an application of a memory technique. How many times have you put something down? Whether there are your keys, a business card, a pen, your sunglasses, your smartphone. And you think, haven't seen my keys? I know where they are, just I don't always, I always forget where I put them. Happens to all of us. How do we remember where we put our keys? Here's a good example. You come home, you found your keys now. You grab a sandwich, you're running around and like crazy, and you're thinking of other things. And all of a sudden, half an hour later, you can't find the keys. You put them somewhere. Well, when you put them down, the memory was thinking of something else. And when you actually did a physical movement of putting the keys down. So what we need to do is use our rules. A place to put the information, the information turned into a vivid picture and mental glue to hold the picture on the peg. Let's assume that we're going to put the keys on the table on the way home. When you walk down and throw the keys on the table, in your mind's eye, picture the table is blowing up. Boom! That's it. It's done in less than a second. Now, when you go back and say, where did I put my keys? What's the first thing that pops into your mind? Ah! I blew up the coffee table with them. <laughs> the action springs forth right away. I did this when I was teaching an English class. I gave this demo and everyone laughed when I was talking about blowing up the coffee table. When I got out of the classroom, the observer came up to me and said, does that really work? I said, I proved that it works. You can get the names and numbers of all the learners in my class today. Next week, you call up some students and ask them. Hiya, last week there was a memory exercise demoed. Do you remember where he put the keys? She said, that is a great idea. Next week, I got on with my business and was hoping she would call someone who remembers. It was great. A colleague told me that she called up a guy named Richard. She said, Hi, Richard. You were in an English lesson last week. You had a demo about a memory exercise and he put the keys somewhere. Do you remember where they are, those keys? And he laughed over the phone. He blew up the coffee table with them. <laughs> and everyone laughed. When he told me, we both laughed. And it was great. But it was so exciting because the technique works. I ran um, a seminar and a woman raised her hand. She goes, Achim, my problem is I'm not thinking where I put keys. If I think of blowing up the coffee table, of course I'm going to remember. And I said, absolutely, you are exactly correct. Here's the thing, let me make a statement. These techniques work because even if they don't work, they still work. Even if they don't work, they still work. You see, the act of applying the technique engages your memory. 
applying the technique engages your memory. We talked about the Statue of Liberty, and many of you still remember the Statue of Liberty, the torch, the book, the big fat man, the power drill, the bar of soap, and so forth. Thank you 